Hi everybody, it's Carolyn at McIntyre Canine Rehabilitation. On today's video, we're going to be talking to you about the function of dew claws. So dew claws can be found in both the front and the hind limbs of a dog. If we take a look at the dog's paw, the dew claw, which is also known as the first digit, is located on the inside or medial side of the wrist joint, just above the weight-bearing joint. So this would be considered your first digit, and then we have second, third, fourth, and fifth. Front limb dew claws, they're attached by tendons, okay, and they play a very pivotal role when the dog is actually in motion. So as a dog is moving at a greater speed, so we're not talking your walk or your amble, your trot, as the dog starts cantering or galloping, you're going to find that the dew claw kicks in and helps to stabilize that lower joint. As the dog makes a sharp turn, the dew claw is also going to come into effect to help prevent excessive torque on that lower limb as the dog is turning. You might also find that dogs use their dew claw to hold bones. Or if a dog has happened to fall through ice, you will see a dog typically dig into the ice above with their dew claws and then climb themselves out, okay? Hind limb dew claws are quite different because they are not considered functional and they're only attached by skin. So they tend to dangle a little bit more and can certainly pose um, a higher risk to the dog. Dew claws are typically removed from puppies anywhere between, the, anywhere between days three and five. And there's three main reasons why people um, remove dew claws. First off, they're believed to be non-functional. Second off, they pose an increased risk of injury. Um, and third, that there's an increased risk of infection. In standing, when a dog is just standing here, the dew claws, the front dew claws are not functional. However, when the dog is in motion, it really, really changes the game and those dew claws become really, really important. So if a dog doesn't have dew claws, they are at a higher chance of injury, okay? We tend to see more um, carpus injuries or ligament strains. We also see other issues that can come into the elbow and the shoulder and the spine as they're trying to compensate for a wrist that doesn't have dew claws. There was a, a recent article that was released that showed that dogs that are competing in agility or training in agility are two times more likely to have a digit, digit injury if they don't have a dew claw. So it becomes really important from an injury prevention standpoint to keep those dew claws. Now, if your dog has a dew claw, if you're wondering, how should I maintain it? Should I do anything differently with it? Not at all, just treat it like any other nail. Make sure that it's kept trim and you might find that you actually have to trim it a little bit more than some of the other nails because they're not worn down as often because in standing, they're not touching the ground, okay? So take home message of tonight's videos is that front dew claws are functional, they prevent injuries, and they are critical to stabilizing your dog's lower limb when it's in motion. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.